Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. So in this video today, I will be testing the new upgraded portable car screen from the Rottop company. Now, if you guys remember uh, last year, I tested their uh, first model, which was the 8.8 .8 inch portable car screen. So what they've done now is they've upgraded and launched a new version. This is a 8.9, so slightly bigger. So 8.8 .8 versus 8.9, to be honest, not big difference. Uh, but the other two things that they've uh, introduced in this new model is one, the screen is a much high resolution screen compared to the previous one. And number two is they've installed the BT transmitter for the sound system. And I look forward to testing that because uh, the FM transmitter is good uh, in terms of the connection, but probably not the best in terms of the quality of audio you get. All right, so guys, uh, let's first do the unboxing of this new 8.9 inch portable screen. And then we will start testing this in my car. So keep watching this video, guys. So you get a user manual. So this is the device. Now I will we'll come back to the screen in a while, but I just wanted to check the other contents in the box. So this is a aux cable for the audio. Okay, then you get this uh, rear camera. This is the rear view camera, the back camera. Uh, it's got uh, a very long uh, harness cable also. It has all the screws, the sticking pad, uh, the, the cables, everything is within this pack. Then you get uh, the cigarette lighter uh, for the power. And then you also get a cigarette lighter dual connector. So basically, they've also uh, given you in the pack this uh, power adapter. Now it's got two cigarette lighter slots here and in the middle you've got two usb slots so you can charge your uh, mobile phones or any other device all right so then you've got uh, the mounting bracket um, and now this is a dual mounting bracket you can stick this on the windshield or you can stick this on the dashboard and then connect the back end of the screen with this and then it also has an adjustable screw here okay and then if you want to uh, use this on the dashboard then probably you'll have to use this um, and this is a sticking pad and you stick this on the dashboard so that uh, the device doesn't move and then it also has this empty slippery kind of a rubber strap that you just uh, put it on the dashboard uh, and rest the the screen on top of it so it doesn't uh, move or slip all right so now let's have a closer look at this uh, rod top 8.9 inch uh, screen let's uh, take it out from the wrapping um, now looks very similar to the one that pre we tested previously obviously that was 8.8 .8 inch this is 8.9 inch so not a lot of difference in terms of the size um, now looking at the back you've got uh, the connections here so this is where you connect the mounting bracket uh, now on the left side you have the SD memory card slot and then you also have the USB card slot this is for the USB flash drive and then on the other side you've got the DC for power then you also have the audio in this is where you connect the aux uh, to connect with the system of the car and then finally you also have AV this is for the rear view camera input so in terms of the connections they're very standard you've got built-in speakers here as well so that's quite nice um, so very standard in terms of all the connections very simple to connect now let me take this out to my car um, set it up on the dashboard and then we start testing the different functions and features of this new 8.9 inch uh, portable car screen from rod top so keep watching guys all right friends so i'm in my car and i've set this up uh, on the dashboard now i won't be actually installing this in my car um, i have got a, a screen already installed in my car so i've just put this on the dashboard for this uh, video uh, and i haven't done any wiring obviously uh, but you can uh, do the wiring take this to the car accessory shop and they'll do a neat job of hiding the wires uh, whether it's the rear view camera wire or this power cable that comes all the way to the cigarette lighter here all right, friends, so this is the main landing page or the home page of uh, this system. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour of the layout. 
So you've got three icons on the left and three on the right and you've got two big ones in the middle. So this one is AirPlay. This is used for a screen, mobile screen mirroring on iPhone. Then you've got AutoLink. This is mobile screen mirroring on Android mobiles. Then you've got the BT transmitter. Now this is the new function uh, in this 8.9 inch portable screen compared to the previous model. Uh, basically you can connect the audio of this device with the system of your car using the Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, then you can also actually do the same with the FM transmitter. FM transmitter is a very simple one. You can uh, connect the audio from the device directly to the sound system of the car. You just need to make sure that you match the FM frequency on the device and the car. Uh, then you can also connect your phone. Uh, you can connect the phone to make uh, calls. You can connect it to listen to the music on your phone as well. And this is also done through Bluetooth. And then you have this USB option. Now the USB option is very useful because you can actually connect a flash drive or SD memory card on this device and then watch uh, video content or even uh, listen to audio songs or watch uh, uh, images as well uh, through that. Uh, and then in the middle, you've got the uh, wireless CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto. Uh, at the bottom, you've got uh, the volume adjustment, power on, off, and then you've got settings and the SD memory card option here as well. So very simple and standard, uh, looks quite nice. I'm quite uh, impressed with the screen size. 8.9 inch is quite uh, nice and decent. Uh, the quality of the screen is also very nice. Now, compared to the previous model, this one has a much higher resolution screen output. As you can see, the clarity is amazing. In fact, when we play some videos, we will see the real difference in terms of the screen quality uh, on this model compared to the previous one. So what I will do in this video is start testing um, some of these features just to test the performance of this new 8.9 inch model. All right, so the first thing I would like to do is actually connect the audio to the system of my car. Uh, now, we've got two options. We've got uh, uh, connecting it through the blue, Bluetooth transmitter. We can also connect it through the FM transmitter or we can connect the aux cable that comes with the box uh, to connect it uh, through a wire, a cable from the device directly into the aux socket of your car. Uh, but uh, what I will be doing in this video uh, is actually connecting it through the Bluetooth of my car. But if you want to connect it through the FM transmitter, if you don't have Bluetooth system on your uh, on your car, you can simply connect it through FM transmitter. Uh, and what you need to do is make sure that you match the frequency um, on this uh, with the screen. So you can set up a different frequency if you want. Just make sure that you find an empty slot, empty frequency on the radio of your system and then match the same on the device here. And once you do that, just click on this uh, on button here. This is on, this is off. So as soon as you match it, just switch it on and then the radio will connect uh, with this device and the audio will be uh, linked to the sound system of the car. All right, so that's straightforward. But as I said earlier, I'll be actually connecting it through the Bluetooth uh, transmitter. So connecting the, the device with the system of your car through Bluetooth is very easy. You just simply go to the Bluetooth transmitter section. You'll find the name of this device, which is BT transmitter. Uh, then you go to the system of your car and uh, search for a new device uh, on the Bluetooth settings. Uh, and uh, once you see that uh, BT transmitter and click on that and then it takes uh, a few seconds to connect that with the system of your car. And as you can see, the connected device on the screen of this device says car multimedia connected. So very simple, just go to the sound system of your car and uh, connect it simply with the device. All right, so now let's try to connect the wireless CarPlay. So we click on this CarPlay icon here. Uh, here are all the instructions on how to connect that. Uh, basically, the instructions are very straightforward. You go to your Bluetooth on the iPhone, click on uh, the Bluetooth settings, switch it on, uh, and then you should be able to see a new device as Car57AB. Click on that and then pair the device, allow it to sync uh, contacts and favorites and then use CarPlay. So very straightforward, simple, a one-time setup. Um, and then obviously it takes you to the homepage of Apple CarPlay that looks like this. So this is the standard homepage of Apple CarPlay. Again, I will not explain the functions and features of CarPlay. You can go and watch my other videos, but this is how it looks. Uh, it's a very quick uh, connection between your mobile um, and uh, the device, uh, the output is quite nice. As you can see, the clarity is amazing, very good in terms of the brightness. Um, 
and um, and that's it you know very simple one time setup now the one uh, interesting test i would like to do is see when we switch on the car does it take us directly to the home page of apple carplay uh, and how long does that take right so the way i would do that is actually i've got my stopwatch ready here uh, i will um, switch off the device uh, switch it back on start the timer now uh, the two things we need to check one is uh, does it directly take us to the carplay homepage one and two how long does it take so obviously it takes about five seconds to, for the portable screen to start uh, and then uh, it would uh, establish the connection uh, between the device there you go so 19 seconds extremely fast i'm extremely impressed with this i haven't seen this kind of speed on any of the other portable devices so it takes only 19 seconds when you switch on the car to uh, take it uh, take you to directly uh, the home page of apple carplay which is really nice uh, now let's try to connect the Android Auto. What we need to do is click on Android Auto, basically go to the settings, um, open Bluetooth, uh, and then look for this device. Now the name of this device is Car57AB. We click on this and uh, we start pairing it. There you go. So quite simple, straightforward. Again, this is a one-time uh, setup. You just need to make this connection once and then every time you switch on the car or the device it takes you directly to the android system of the car all right so this is the main home page or the landing page of android auto this is uh, the map that you see but you can also get a split screen view uh, you've got shortcuts here uh, the map uh, voice input call settings uh, these dots basically take you to the full uh, application view. These are all the apps that are available. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite straightforward and easy. All right, now let's test the, the mobile screen mirroring on my iPhone. Now, I won't be doing it on the Android, um, but the process is slightly different. In fact, for Android mobiles, you need to go and uh, download this uh, application called uh, Autolink, and that app will then guide you how to click or how to connect the mobile screen mirroring on Android mobiles. It's quite straightforward. I've done that on other devices. But in this video, I'll just do it on the iPhone to show you how a mobile screen mirroring is. Basically, you need to go to your iPhone, uh, open the Wi-Fi. You'll find this new device as a new network as Car 57 AB. Click on that and then put in the password. Now, the password, if you remember, is double six, double six, double eight, double eight. And then uh, it will connect with the network. All right. So the next step is from top right, drop down, click on screen mirroring and look for this AirPlay and then it will allow you the screen mirroring option. So as you can see now, the screen of my mobile is mirrored on the device here. Um, and then we can actually go look out for different, then we can check out the different uh, applications here as well. And uh, as you can see, it's quite nice. Uh, the good thing here is that there is absolutely no lag. See, when you're moving the screen, it moves in the same sequence there is no lag between the mobile or the uh, portable screen the thing i would like to actually test is the uc uh, usb all right so i'm playing uh, this is a video that is uh, on my usb flash drive and uh, as you can see it's playing quite nicely this is a very heavy 4k video uh, and uh, the good thing is now the sound is linked to the system of my car as you can hear uh, we can use the steering wheel control obviously to uh, reduce the volume as well or increase it um, so that's uh, quite a nice option now the clarity is amazing brightness the color of the screen is quite good the only issue I see here is that the video is slightly stretched I don't know whether you can notice it uh, on the screen but I feel it's slightly stretched um, and I'll, I'll try to play around in the settings to see if we can uh, fix that. Uh, but uh, I can tell you the clarity is amazing. I don't know whether the camera can do justice in capturing the real quality of the screen, uh, but it is extremely well. This is very, very nice, clear, crisp. The colors are also very nice and the brightness is obviously very good as well. Um, 
All right, friends. So this was a very quick review of this uh, Rotop 8.9 inch uh, upgraded portable car screen. Overall, extremely impressive uh, device. So guys, if you're interested, if you want to buy this, just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the official store where you can buy this new 8.9 inch portable car screen from Rotop. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video.